Hey everyone, Astronaut Boy here, and today I wanted to talk about some news on the Babylon 5 reboot from Giant Freaking Robot. It says B5 reboot will change the show's story for the CW. Babylon 5 creator J. Michael Straczynski responded to fan questions about the reboot of the beloved series and reveals that the story elements have already been. Uh, that have already been revealed in the previous series will be told in a very different way for this new version of the property. Straczynski also hinted that another B5 project, at another B5 project that includes the original cast members from the first Babylon 5. So let's read on. Last September, it was confirmed that B5 creator J. Michael Straczynski was working on a new reboot series set to appear on the CW. Not, I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. Um, the CW is not, is not jazzing me at all. I don't have cable. And even if I did, I wouldn't want the CW, but that aside, now the creator of both series has confirmed something diehard fans may not have a great reaction to the stories of the, um, station is going to be a lot different in the reboot. Yeah, I can talk. Over the weekend, um, Straczynski was particularly busy on Twitter, responding to fan questions about the B5 reboot, as well as other projects. So one fan said, what is it even about? I mean, we all know the secrets of the shadows and the Vorlons at this point. The mystery is gone. What story is left to tell at this point? And Straczynski responded, that's only if we tell the same story in the same way or not, because what would be the point? As far as what will be different in the original series and the reboot, we don't know much, but we know at least one important detail according to Deadline's October report about the new series. Unlike in the original B5, the space station will start off being commanded by Captain John Sheridan, who was originally played by Bruce Boxleitner. In the first series, it was Michael O'Hare playing Commander Jeffrey Sinclair in the first season. O'Hare was forced to leave the show because of mental health issues, and Sheridan was created to replace him. And then, um, he's, uh, uh, Straczynski also talks about his other B5 project, uh, since there being, seems to be some confusion about all things B5, let me clarify. B5 Project 1 is the reboot reimagining for CW, which is awaiting a production order. Project 2 is one we've been doing in secret with some of the original cast. I know it doesn't say original, but that is what it was about. Uh, until there's an official announcement, all of us are swarmed to secrecy and can't tell you what it is or even what medium it is. Film, audio, video, game, print, semaphore. <laughs> I can only tell you that it is done and has a uh, 2023 release date. I hope this clears up any confusion. So there is a second BFI project, which I was totally unaware of. So that's actually kind of cool. Uh, if I had to guess, I would, I would vote for game. If I had to guess, I would vote for game. Although... Well, I don't know. I mean, they could do a game. Could have been doing a game in secret all this time. Um, I'm just going to predict game. But it would be cool if they did a show or something, but I'm going to predict game. With Straczynski's mention of the B5 reboot awaiting a production order, it's difficult not to feel pessimistic about its chances of seeing the light of day. The CW has undergone seismic seismic shifts over the past few months, popular series like The Flash and Rivendell have been confirmed to have their final seasons on the way. Long list of outright canceled. A long list of series have been outright canceled. After Next Star Media published a controlling interest in the CW, reports surfaced that the network's focus was shift to unscripted programs, sitcoms, and police procedurals. Something like B5 would seem to fly in the opposite direction. Yeah, like I said, I, I not I was not thrilled about the whole uh, B5 going to the CW. 
hopefully whatever happens with the B5 reboot won't once again put Straczynski at odds with a major studio. Um, speaking to the archive of American television, the B5 creator claimed he pitched the series to Paramount and that the studio stole the idea and used it to, for Star Trek Deep Space Nine. The writer declined to sue Paramount, he said, be only because Warner Brothers did not want him to. Now, this part right here, I, I have heard you know, him claim this. Uh, I know that there was some tetchy issues. To me, I don't really think, I don't think Paramount stole anything, to be honest. I know that Deep Space Nine was set on a space station, but just because B5 was on a space station and Deep Space Nine was on a space station, you know, doesn't, doesn't mean they stole the idea. When you listen to the creators of Star Trek back then, they were looking to do something different because they didn't want to do another TNG story and setting something on a space station made sense to them because then you could have the every all the action come to the space station now i know there's also been talk back in the day at least that deep space nine also stole the idea of having uh, its own starship because b5 did the same thing uh but again i don't i don't i don't think that was the case i honestly think the reason they got a starship is because runabouts in deep space nine you know, there's only so much they can do. They're not very powerful. They're small. Whereas if you give an actual proper starship, even on the smaller end, but like a proper warship, which the Defiant was on Deep Space Nine, then uh, you've got, you can go further. You can have more action. There's just a lot more you can do. So uh, I, yeah, I don't think that was an issue at all. But that aside, I, I to me, I wish B5 would get an HD remaster. I know that's never going to happen. Although, they're, I think for streaming, I was told that the, I think that the streaming may have some, um, some HD uh, improvements on B5. I'm not sure about that. I need to check into that, to be honest. But that aside, I'd love to get this series on Blu-ray in HD with new uh, special effects and you know all the graphics redone for uh, modern viewing purposes same scenes you know i'm not saying replace the scenes themselves just make everything kind of like they did with the next generation hd upgrade you know they didn't change any of the scenes they just made everything look really nice and and better so that's what i'd love to see for babylon 5 but it'll never happen I honestly wish that they would do a crusade continuation as an animated series, something like along the lines of what Star Wars did with Rebels and Clone Wars and Bad Batch, only just do it with the crusade people and get all the original actors who, at least the ones that are, I think everyone's still alive for crusade, get them back and uh, finish that series. Cause it really sucked what what happened uh, with that series. But anyway, that's about it. I mean, let me know what your thoughts are on this reboot. Are you excited? I'm cautiously optimistic if it goes forward. Uh, I'm actually more interested in this second project than the reboot. But, you know, I am interested in both to a degree. So, But that's going to do it. Like, subscribe, all that other stuff. And we will see you in the next video.